<clears throat> you see this right here? This is a blunt. This is a blunt of weed. You see this right here? This is a blunt. This is a blunt of weed. You see this right here? This is a blunt. This is a blunt of weed. You see this right here? This is a blunt. This is a blunt of weed. <clears throat> this is the book of Leviticus, the 19th chapter and the 14th verse. And it reads, Thou shalt not curse the deaf, nor put a stumbling block before the blind, but shall fear thy power, thy God. I am the Lord, Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. Giving all praise, honor, and infinite glory to the heavenly Father, Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, Basham Rachakwadash. Double honors unto the head apostles and elders of the great millstone who do rule well and teach well. Shalom unto the elders and the elder bishops of the great millstone as well. Shalom, shalom. Peace, love, salutations, and blessings unto the hopeful elect and a hearty shalom to the sincere brethren laboring across the four winds of the earth, giving diligence to make their calling and election sure. Shalom, shalom. So this is going to be a quick hit. This is going to be long-winded. What you've seen on the screen, which I'll play again, is Deacon Destruction. You see this right here? It's Deacon Destruction in destruction mode in the form of leading those who follow him down the path of destruction by putting a stumbling block before Jake. The scriptures say we're refrained from all appearances of evil. And this is an appearance of evil. And we've been warning those who follow the Sakari, also those who follow these other camps, to refrain from the tents of those men who are not teaching the 100% truth because false doctrine, adding and subtracting to the scriptures, not having the correct understanding of what the MOTB is, the, t the seriousness of the, t of the times that we're approaching, which is called Jacob's trouble, and anything outside the 100% truth is going to get you killed in these times to come. Heavy judgment is coming down. The Lord's not playing. And these things tend to happen heavily right around the time of the Passover, which is a spiritual time, because you need to be covered by the blood of our Lord and his sacrifice, which is symbolic of what the Passover is symbolic of. You know, the blood on the doorpost is symbolic of you being blood, you being covered by the Lord's sacrifice. And that's what the elect will have. They will have the Thawa, which is mentioned in the book of Ezekiel, the ninth chapter, the fourth verse. And that word Thawa, which is the Hebrew word for set a mark upon the men uh, the forehead, the men that sigh and cry for the, all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof is the mark of exemption from judgment. And that's why the elders and apostles and like-minded men have been telling you to refrain from the tents of those who are in the spirit of rebellion and subordination, not teaching the 100% truth, because in these times to come, those things are going to get you killed, man. Heavy judgment. And the scriptures say also that judgment must start first at the house of the Lord, as far as those who know that there is a last man. And this is Jake just laying a stumbling block because these guys are grifters and extortioners, man. Most likely hirelings set up, you know, by the powers that be, just by the way they move, man. Let's play this one more time. We'll get a few precepts and wrap on up. This is a blunt. This is a blunt of weed. You see this right here? This is a blunt. This is a blunt of weed. So there you have Deacon Destruction Mode in Destruction Mode laying a stumbling block by posting a video with the blunt of weed you know looked like a backwood or something like that and you, and you got jake who are coming into this truth fresh out of the world who, who are fighting these demons as far as the weed demon uh, this demon that demon and what you're doing is you're laying a stumbling block before your flock to for them to trip over and ultimately for you to get judged by the heavenly father by laying that stumbling block because the scriptures say man's going is the, the lord and also the scriptures say, many shall follow their promiscuous ways. And you see that because what do you, what do you have these guys doing? Constantly going off and then you have Jake still following them, man. But ultimately we do, we do these type of videos so those who are following them who are sincere can get pulled out of the fire and see where these guys are airing it as far as the scriptures and the way they move. This is Leviticus 19 and 14. And it reads, thou shalt not curse the deaf nor put a stumbling block before the blind. And when Jake first comes to this truth, you know, they're having the blind just lifted off of them by the washing of, uh, by the washing, by hearing the word, man. And ultimately, you need, you know, to be fully washed. And the way you're fully washed is you accept Yahweh Shai, which is the word, man. The word was made flesh, John 1 and 14. This is Leviticus 19 and 14. Thou shalt not curse the deaf, nor put a stumbling block before the blind, but shall fear thy power. I am the Lord, Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai. Let's get this real quick, because uh, I'm in transit. On my way to another uh, location, but let's let's get it while we can, you know. So this is a uh, First Corinthians. Matter of fact, let's get 
First Thessalonians, which I had on deck. First Thessalonians 5 and 23, 5 and 22. First Thessalonians 5 and 22, and it reads, let's get the NIV, reject every kind of evil, stay away from every kind of evil. The points in the, <clears throat> yeah, Amplified Bible, this is a good one. A abstain from every form of evil, withdraw and keep away from it. But the scriptures say in the KJV, let's get it. Let's get it. It says, abstain from all appearance of evil. From all appearance of evil, man. And this is an appearance of evil. This is Matthew 5 and 14. Real quick. Matthew 5 and 14. And it reads. Matthew 15 and 14. Bear with me. Matthew 15 and 14. And it reads. Let them alone, they be blind, leaders of the blind. And that's why we've been telling uh, those who are window shopping to not ultimately, ultimately to make a decision. Because you're going to have to make a decision. You know, choose this day who we will serve, man. Refrain from the tents of Korah, Dathan, and Abiram. Those in the spirit of rebellion. Those coming up against leadership. You know, those teaching false doctrine. Those not breaking down the prophecies correctly. Because false doctrine, rebellion... Uh, things of that nature are going to get you killed in these times to come. Heavy judgment is raining down. Matthew 15 to 14. Let them alone. They be, bl they be blind leaders of the blind. And if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into a ditch. Both shall fall into a ditch. Both shall be destroyed by a thermonuclear missile, man. This is Acts 20 and 27. Let's get this first and we'll wrap on up. This is the book of 1 Corinthians, the fifth chapter. <clears throat> and let's get the ninth verse on down and it reads 1 Corinthians 5 and 9 which is an epistle the apostle Paul wrote to the church in Corinth which is in Greece which was a province of Rome at that time this is 1 Corinthians 5 and 9 I wrote unto you in an epistle night to keep company with fornicators and what, what happens when you teach and constantly call upon the name Christ which we know to not be the name of our of our Savior well you, you put that vibration of the Christian church and black Christianity on them and um, that, that, that uh, what is it called? That plantation Christianity. And what is Sakari constantly saying in the videos? They constantly use the C word, man. And I'll say it for edification purposes because I hate saying that word, but they constantly say Christ in their videos and you know that's not the name, man. You know that's not the name. So why are you even using it? Once again, um, the guys who are being... Uh, ultimately exposed because the heavenly father is having them be exposed most likely they're being exposed because either they got paid off to teach these false doctrines or the or either way it goes the heavenly father is not dealing with them but either way it goes the heavenly father is not dealing with this man and this needs to be exposed and shown ultimately uh, to the congregation man first corinthians 5 and 9 i wrote unto you in an epistle not to keep company with fornicators those in, into spiritual fornication you know and what was the first commandment that was given unto us y'all shall ha not have any other gods before me and when you call upon christ man you're calling upon another god you're, you're ultimately uh keeping that black christianity plantation christianity spirit you know roman and jake and what does the black christian church plantation christianity teach come as you are and that's why they wear hats you know they have a worldly appearance because they're still of the world man First Corinthians five and ten, and it reads, "Ye not all together, yet not to, yet not all together with fornicators of this world, or with the covetous or extortioners." And that's what Sakari is, a bunch of extortioners. And that's why the Spirit hopped on me last night to say, through the Spirit, you know, these groups like, you know, HOI, who doesn't teach the correct breakdown of the mark of the beast, which is the RFID implant or microchip, IUIC, which doesn't teach the real name Sakari, which is adding and subtracting to the scriptures, wanting to get carnal, basically, uh, you know. Basically in the spirit, they're basically in the spirit of the Sakari of old. And if you go into that word Sakari, it means murders, man. That's exactly what that word means. And uh, the precept right here, I'll just get it. I wasn't trying to make this long, but let's get this real quick while it's hot. Are not that uh, the Egyptian? This is the book of Acts. It's in the book of Acts. Yeah, 21. And 28 and it reads are not thou that egyptian 
which before these days made us an uproar, and led us out in the wilderness, 4,000 men that were murders. And if you go into this word murders, slaki, which means, excuse me, that word murders is the Greek word. Strong's G, 4607, Sicarias. 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 It speaks for itself. Murder. You know, a dagger man or assassin. And that's what they care to camp. You know, staffs, dag staves, you know, daggers. Staves are staffs that can be used as weapons as far as thick staffs. You know, a regular staff is a, is a walking stick. A stave is a, is a weapon. It can be used for causing bodily harm. A thick staff that can somebody can club somebody with. A, a dagger, which they carry to camp. Actual physical guns, you know. Lord didn't tell you to do any of that shit, man. One who carries a dagger or a short sword under his clothing that he may secretly, that he may kill secretly and treacherously one, anyone he wishes to. And that's what they're doing with their false doctrine. That's what they're doing with things like this. This is a blunt of weed. You see this right here? This is a blunt, this is a blunt of weed. You see this right here? This is a but ultimately, you know, these guys got to be here doing this because the scriptures say many shall follow their promiscuous ways. Somebody got to be out here doing the bullshit, man. And then somebody got to be calling it out. First Corinthians 5 and 10. Ye not all together, yet not all together with fornicators of this war or with the covetous or extortioners or with idolaters. For then ye must needs go out of the world. The points in 11 and it reads, but now I've written unto you not to keep. It's like it, but I but now I have written unto you not to keep company if any man that is called a brother be a fornicator or covetous or an idolater or a railer or a drunkard or an extortioner with such and one not to eat, not to eat, not to break bread, don't gather with them. And as uh, as we get closer to the end, the reason why the spirit hopped on me to say what I said last night about groups like this is because what do they teach for women? money, you know, um, clout. And as they start losing members, because as the prophecies start to be more and more prevalent, what the mark of the beast is, which is the RFID implantable microchip, what the name of the heavenly father is and his only begotten son's name is, because they're going to see miracles being performed in those names, those men being protected. Ultimately, their congregation is going to start to withdraw, is going to start to withdraw. And these men are going to get carnal, just like they did in the ancient world during the ancient Roman Empire. You know, the men who were followers of Yahweh Shai, what, what, who were they given up to? You know, who were they brought to council before? The Sanhedrin, you know, the wicked scribes and Pharisees that eventually handed over to the Romans, you know, suffered, cruci uh, suffered, suffered uh, gruesome deaths, you know, crucifixions, being hanged upside down, you know, so on and so forth, man. Things of that nature. And these men are back. And that's why the Spirit hopped on me last night to the Spirit to say, Ultimately, what these guys are going to do, because if they start losing members, losing money, you know, losing, losing followers, you know, losing people the Lord over, they're going to get mad and get carnal. Men have had many visions about this, man. Let's get it. Acts 20 and 27. And it reads, for I'm not shunned to declare unto you all the counsel of the Most High, the good, the bad, the ugly. There's always been um, clashes within Israel, man. Cory, they think Abraham. That was a clash. You know, um, Absalom. You know, the, the, the wicked scribes and Pharisees. Because you had scribes and Pharisees who actually believed. You know, Nicodemus is one of them. He was a Pharisee, but he believed. But there's always been clashes and there's always been a division. And you're starting to see through the spirit, you know, those in the spirit of the house of Saul, those who sold out, they're starting to show their horns. Also, Esau, Edom, he's starting to show his horns. He's starting to speak more draconian. We're in those times. Acts 20 and 27. For I'm not shunned to declare unto you all the counsel of the Most High, the good, the bad, the ugly, the beautiful, you know, what's set to come, what we have to go through. The grievous wolf not sparing the flock. The, 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 the true man of the Lord and, 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 and ultimately the spirit that they would be in. Put on as the elect those characteristics who's walking like that and who's walking contrary acts 20 and 28 take heed therefore unto yourselves and to, and and to all the flock over which the holy spirit had made you overseers to feed the church of the most high 
with this doctrine, with this word, which he had purchased with his own blood. Acts 20 and 29, for I know this, that after my departing shall grievous wolves enter in among you, not sparing the flock. And we see those men starting to show their horns, man. The hirelings, the wolves in sheep's clothing, you know, the, uh, the apostates, the, the sicarius, the murders, the, the guys who are going to lead those to destruction. Nomen omen, de deacon destruction. That's exactly where he's going to lead you, man. And most likely, with the proud spirit that's on deacon, he's not going to repent, man. I'm just saying this as a man, but I, I'm just saying it because I see it, man. Acts 20 and 30. Also, of your own selves shall men arise speaking perverse things. Uh, we don't trust Mark. We don't trust Luke. We don't worship Yahweh Shai. It's perverse. To draw away disciples after them. And what are they speaking these things right around the time of? The Passover, man. And if you go into the Passover, that blood in your doorpost, that blood in the doorpost from the lamb is symbolic by being covered by the blood of the lamb, man. By being covered by our Lord's sacrifice. That's what it's symbolic of. Which is symbolic of having the mark of exemption from judgment. And how do you get that mark of exemption? You got to go through the straight gate. You got to go through the Lord. You can't get straight to the Heavenly Father. We're dirty, man. We're filthy. We need a mediator. We need, uh, we need um, ultimately, mercy, man. But you need to hear the actual correct, correct true doctrine and take heed unto it because it's super important for your survival and your salvation, man. Acts 20 and 31. Therefore, therefore, watch and remember by the space of three years, I cease not to warn every slacket. Acts 20 and 31. There, therefore, watch and remember that by the space of three years, I cease not to warn everyone night and day with tears. And that's what we're doing through this. We're in Parvi Habashim Shai. We're warning everyone who's watching, following, you know, window shopping on the fence with tears as far as crying out to stay away from the tents of guys in the spirit of rebellion, the Korah, Dathan, and Abirams, the guys adding and subtracting the scriptures, the guys not warning you, the guys not uh, ultimately giving you the whole truth and nothing but the truth. The whole role, man. What did the Lord tell Ezekiel? Eat this role. That means the whole role. So with that, I'm going to close on that. I just wanted to put this on wax, you know, because ultimately this is prophecy. This has to happen. But you have to have somebody warning. So with that, I'm going to close on now. Shalom. Until next time. Wa. Ababa. Song, song, song. Shalom.